Today I'm going to teach you something very, very, very important for all programmers, all Spring programmers, and that is something called Art Repository REST Resource. So this is an application I created. We have, of course, you know that the structure of a Spring application is like this. When you go to your browser, you have this person sitting here, you type something in the address bar. It goes to the REST controller, from there to the service, to the repository, to the data store. So that's, that's why we have the model, we have the controller, we have the repository, we have the service. So everything is just exactly like this, okay? So when we go to the address bar and go to slash student, we have a list of students. So I'm going to run this application at this point, and I'm going to go to slash students, and we are going to get a list of students, okay? So uh, this application starts up at port 8080. So if I go to slash students here, if you are joining for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out anything. HTTP, and we go to port 8080. Uh, sorry, HTTP localhost. Uh, let's just get it right. Localhost at port 8080 slash students. So we have a list of students, as you can see, three students here which is okay, that is fine. But when we are using at repository REST resource, we are going to have more details and we are going to actually delete some of the codes we have. So at repository REST resource is going to expose the repository methods without having you to having to create the controller and the service. So the repository REST resource actually eliminates much of the codes. This controller part is eliminated. In fact, let's just go and delete it. From the code, I'm going to delete this. Yes, delete the repository. No, no, not the repository. We are going to delete the controller. We're going to delete the controller. So we are not going to have this endpoint. So let me delete. And I'm also going to delete the service as well. Okay, so these are the only three things we have. We only have this repository. Now, this repository, I'm going to convert it to a repository REST resource. So when you make it as repository REST resource, it's more like covers up for both the repository, the service, and the controller as well. So I've typed it out, so I'm simply going to paste it. Let me just delete this. So when you use as repository REST resource, we have that you specify the path to students, and you also have this collection resource rel to be students. So basically, uh, this will expose all the methods. Uh, even it will even give you option to search, to page, to paginate, and to sort uh, in the in the output that comes uh, when you make a request to slash students. Okay. Now, having put this repository here, there is also uh, a dependency that I need to show you here. So that dependency is called. Spring Boot Starter Data REST. So you need to add this, uh, this, this dependency in your Pomplet XML, and then you'll be able to use Art Repository REST resource. Now the beauty of Art Repository REST resource is that it, sorry, so I'm going to run this application again. It gives you more details when you request for a resource from your server. It gives you more details, something called HTTPS. Hypermedia as the engine of application state. So it even gives you additional links to sub resources or to other aspects of these resources. So now I'm going to go go back to my browser. If I now go to localhost at port 8080, you see what we have. So it's telling us that there's a link here. And also we have also another place, another link to profile. So this we are getting it for free because we are using our repository REST resource. So if I visit this link at this point, I visit this link slash students, you now see we have much more details than we previously have. So we have the first name, the last name. We even have links to uh, this. I can't really say exactly, but we have additional links to do a redirect to search for particular students and get them. All right, so this is how uh, repository REST resource works. The thing is, it makes it very easy. It, now we have only trade files here, only the repository you have to create, under only the repository, no uh, business service, no controller, and you have everything you want. So that's what I want to share with you. Remember, I'm Kainton the Tech Pro, and I promise to share my knowledge with everyone. 
If you are joining me for the first time here in my channel, subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also let me know if you have any challenges whatsoever in programming, databasing, any aspect of learning and I'll, I'll always be there for you.